Hello and welcome, dear students, to a new episode to explain the lessons of the fourth grade of primary school. Today's episode is titled Digital Citizenship. Lesson objectives explains what it means to be a digital citizen, explains the basic concepts of digital citizenship, discusses the use of ICT tools in an ethical, responsible, and safe manner. In your opinion, what does it mean to be a digital citizen? To answer this question, come with me to learn about the concept of digital citizenship. Digital citizenship, it is the ability to use digital technology in an ethical, responsible and safe manner. Watch the video with me to learn more about digital citizenship. What does it mean to be a digital citizen? According to the book, it is a person who develops his skills and knowledge to effectively use the internet and other digital technology. Okay, so that's it. I think there is more. In order to understand the meaning of digital citizenship, let us analyze the term digital, which means technology or the internet. Citizenship which means the responsibilities and rights of individuals towards society. So when you think about the difference between digital citizenship and citizenship, there is no clear line between them. Digital citizenship is not much different from citizenship in its traditional sense. It is to be kind, respectful and responsible and to participate in activities that make the world a better place. Digital footprint, it is a record of everything you do online, for example, the websites you visit, as well as what you publish and share with others. If you use the internet, you must pay attention to your digital footprint, exactly as your footsteps on dirt ground, which marks the path you walked. Digital footprint, it is a history of everything you do online. Any post you make, any website you visit, any information you share online appears in your digital footprint. Therefore, it is very important to share your information and information about others in a safe and responsible manner. As a digital citizen, you have rights and responsibilities. Do you know what they are? It is your right not to copy or share your digital footprint without your consent. You have the right to interact and publish in a positive manner with those around you. You should never hack protected content in order to share it. You should always show a positive behavior in dealing with others. You have the right to share and access information and entertainment while respecting intellectual property rights. You have the right to use the internet when you need it, in compliance with the law. You should always evaluate what you see and make sure of its reliable sources. Be sure to evaluate your use of the internet. Is it useful content that helps you? Is it safe or not? At the end of the lesson, we hope that you have benefited from what we have done, and wait for us in future lessons. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.